along a little patience. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Very good idea. We've had great weather for the yesterday, some more for the weekend. Yeah, I think we're going to have wonderful weather over the weekend. We started moving the storms on out yesterday. We don't have any new storms to talk about around here. Now, we do have some cold air. It's zero degrees in Durango right now, and it's minus five in Alamosa, and they've got a lot of snow on the ground up there. But, you know, mountainous areas of Colorado and even some of those valleys around the mountains, well, they kind of expect to see the snow this kind of this time of the year and even in some healthy amounts. But I tell you, all that stuff they've had back east, even if they do expect to see some snow, they never expect to get what they got. So still feeling a little sorry for those people. But around here, uh, not hard to feel sorry for us. Sure, it's going to be cold in the morning, but I think we'll knock the chill off in the afternoon with the help of some sunshine. Now, you're probably looking at this satellite photograph. And thinking to yourself, Jason, what are you talking about sunshine? Obviously, we've got some clouds out there. Well, we do have some clouds, but a lot of times these pictures aren't really true to form. These clouds are pretty thin, and I think we are going to be looking at a good deal of sunshine once we get on into the better part of the day. But we will still see a few of these high, thin clouds kind of drift in from northwest heading southeast. That's a quiet northwest flow pattern we'll be in today and tomorrow. And, of course, mild temperatures are to boot. So why are we changing things? Well, it's because the main storms and storm patterns beginning to change. Really, all the stormy stuff we've had has been associated with El Nino. Those are those southern track storms that have been racing right towards the land of enchantment. Well, given the next 8 to 10 days, instead of the rainy and snowy stuff being down this way and out into California, the storm track turns north. This is good news on several uh, several uh, uh, ventures here because, one, it's going to help get us out of the storms for a few days. With that storm track going north, that means up around Vancouver where they're wanting some snow for the Olympics. They just may get it in time. Who would have ever guessed they planned things out just right? Well, around here, if you're making plans, your plans cannot go wrong, no matter whether you're in the northwest or the southwestern part of the state. But those aren't the only places you can travel to enjoy some sunshine today. All you really have to do is step out in your own backyard. Doesn't matter if you're in the southeast or the northeast. Once again, we're calling for mostly sunny skies out there. And even though it may be a little on the cool side, really won't be too bad. Now, there will be a few extra mid and high level clouds kind of rolling through the northeast highlands and back into the northern mountains there. But for the most part, things are pretty quiet out there, as you can tell from our seven-day outlook coming up in Santa Fe here. And even a little milder Santa Fe temperatures in the 40s for the next seven days looking pretty good. Those temperatures, well, they're scooting on up into the 40s for the most part in those east-coated east mountains, snow-coated east mountains as well. Back towards the Rio Grande Valley, while the nights are cold, the afternoons are looking a little better. A trend that should hold right through the weekend, including Valentine's, uh, Mardi Gras up at Red River, NASCAR for me on television, <laughs> and of course, your own loved ones, no matter what you're doing on Sunday. Weather looks good this weekend. Oh, yeah, definitely. Good.